happy Friday. How are you doing? I'm getting ready to go get my eyebrows done. You look, look at these things. Look at them. You see them? I don't have any pencil or anything on these eyebrows. I had them done five weeks ago, and I, to some of y'all, it may not look like I, like I don't have a lot of color on there, but my eye my eyebrows are basically clear. They're like white when I don't have any, any color on them at all. You can't really see them. I do henna brows, and I've done them several times now, and the color seems to last longer every time I did it. This was done five weeks ago. I'm getting ready to go get them done again in just a minute, but I'm a little bit early. I got off work, and... I, I thought I would come on out here, and uh, my appointment's not till 5.30. I got uh, just a few minutes, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you. This is what they look like five weeks after having them tinted with henna the last time, threaded and tinted, and I'll have them done again, and, uh, I, and I'll, get, I'll have an excuse to put these on, so I don't want to shock you too much. Some people were just scandalized by my eyebrows, not understanding that when you get them, when they're first tinted, they're going to look darker for a day or two. That's normal. That's not weird. I mean, it's not. I, maybe people just don't know that. They're not going to stay looking like that. I mean, it's, you know, but it has to be a little bit dark for a little bit, and then it, it fades, and they look, you know, it, the, the color stays. So... It's just something I do. I mean, it's just something I want to do. Um, I was thinking about it the other day. I was listening to a podcast, and they were talking about somebody who had plastic surgery. And it was a couple of people talking about it. And one person was just like, I can't believe she would do that to her face. Nah, 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 nah. And the other one was kind of like me. You know, if you want to do it, if you want to go get plastic surgery or, you know, color your hair or whatever you want to do to yourself, I mean, I don't care. I, I figure if it makes you happy, it's, it's, I'm not going to judge you for that. I'm not going to look at you differently because of that. If you want to do it, do it. But don't feel like you have to do it. My only concern is you, you're going to start feeling like just looking normal. Oh, <laughs> shit. My, uh, my holder said screw this lady. It must not agree with me. I don't fall again. I'm going to try to make this quick. Maybe I should just hold it. So if you would look normal, that, you know, some people are going to see that as, you know, not good enough or whatever. And eventually we'll all just be walking around looking like cartoon characters. I don't know. Like a lot of women, and I, I, maybe, maybe some people don't realize this. The people say your hair is so thin. You need to, you know, you need to do something to your hair. It's always been like that. It's been like that since I was, you know, 10 years old. I've always, my hair is very fine. I have a lot of hair, but it doesn't look like it. You need to get extensions. You need to do this. You need to do that. No, I don't. No, I don't. A lot of what you're looking at that you think is normal is extensions. It is, it's fake hair. It's not, if you saw them in their natural state, they would not look like that. But you're so accustomed to seeing that that you think that is normal and anybody who doesn't look that way needs needs to do something. You need to alter yourself. Well, I don't feel like wearing extensions and shit in my hair. I don't feel like spending the money on it. I don't feel like spending the time on it. If you don't like the way my hair looks, let's, this is what I tell anybody. If you don't like the way something looks or you don't agree with something, you have the right to just walk away. You don't have to look at it. You don't have to read it. You don't have to listen to it. Walk away. Jesus, sorry, I I had one of those days, see it's the day right before a three-day weekend, and it was kind of slow all day, right up until 10 minutes till five, and then everything blew up. I had I had this thing come, this issue come up out of nowhere, like, Mary, oh, thank God you're still here. It's like, no, what? Everybody's left. Can you do something? Uh, what? And I, I barely got out. I got out of there at five. I didn't think I was going to, though. I'm going to take my earrings off. Aren't these cute? They're made out of seashells, and they have blue in them and green. But the blue, I thought, would look cute with my cardigan. So, I'm kind of agitated because I had a slow day right up until 10 to 5. And it's like, I've been sitting here all day. Why couldn't you have come over here like four hours ago? Cute. And I have on my vintage, I'm going to leave this on, my glass beaded uh, triple strand necklace. Look how shiny and sparkly it is. I love it. So I'm a little agitated, but anyway, I wanted to show you my eyebrows before, and then I, I texted my older son. I said, what do we need from the, the grocery store? 
thinking he'd tell me like two things. He gives me this long ass list and I'm still like, how are we out of everything? So I have to go to the grocery store and buy like 37 things because he, he gave me a proper list by text. Like here's all the stuff we need. Send his ass to the store because most of it is stuff he ate. I almost sent his ass to the store. Anyway, here they are before. Now, when I come back, now I'm warning you now. Just telling you now. I'm going to have dark eyebrows, but they're not going to stay that way long. But see, I can put on my ice cream eyeglasses, my ice cream sunglasses. You won't be able to see shit. So, protect you from it. I don't want to give you a, a, a fit of any kind. don't want you to, you know, have the vapors or anything. don't want you passing out on me. I don't understand the things people get mad about. I know I go on about it too much. You complain too much. I know I do. It's my favorite thing to do. Some days I love to complain. Anyway, I got I to gotta go. I got to get over there. But thank you so much for being... Why, why am I... I'm not leaving. Let me go get them done and then I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm back. My hair always gets messed up in there. I feel so much better in a way because my only complaint about this place where I get my brows done is that I could never get the damn payment thingy where you do your card and you put in. I could never get the damn thing to work. I would about have to choke it to make it work. And the lady in front of me had no trouble with it. And I wasn't watching her. And I didn't want her to think I was like trying to get her credit card information. But I noticed... She, she just flew right through, and I'm going, why do I struggle with it so much? This was after getting my brows done. And I, I said, so the lady that did my brows, I said, can, can I ask you something? Can you please come around here? Because for some reason, this machine never works for me. And I found out what I was, I've been doing wrong. You, there, it's a little touch screen, and if you touch it too hard, it freezes. Like, it freezes up. It won't register shit. I had been pressing it too hard. Well, I tried touching it lightly, and I didn't think it was working, but she said, it is working. You just have to give it a second. It doesn't, you know, just barely touch it and just give it a second. See, it was the give it, give it a second that I didn't get because I'm too impatient for anything. So, when I, I gave it a second, it worked. I said, oh, my gosh, because I've been sitting here, like, mashing on it. She said, yeah, don't do that. I said, so I just lightly touch and wait a second. She said, yeah. Okay, I feel that just made my day because that's been bugging me. That was my only complaint about coming here was their payment thing. Never, I'd have to about kill it to get it to work. Well, now I know. Touch it lightly and wait a minute. Just give it a second. Don't be so damn impatient all the time. So, all right, I just, I've got my sunglasses on. Aren't they cute? I got to go into Walmart, but I figure if I got black eyebrows, it won't matter. I'll just blend in because everybody in there looks like they were drawn on a piece of paper. So, it'll be all right. Did I tell you somebody, Walmart contacted me. Did I, I don't think I told y'all about that. Earlier this week, I got an email from Walmart. Like, not the store. You know, that'd be weird to get an email from a store. But a, a Walmart associate or something in the marketing department emailed me. They apparently know that I make videos of their beauty boxes. And the lady I talked to said, we really like your videos. I just wanted to make sure you're not having any trouble getting your boxes. Cause I, I did go, there was a period of time there. Oh, I don't know. What was it a year or two ago where I was getting multiple boxes every season. I was getting like three or four boxes for some reason. Um, and I told her, no, I'm not. I was able to straighten that out. And it may be something I did. I don't know. I registered for the beauty box. And it was all right initially, but then I started getting like three or four boxes every season. I don't recall changing anything in my little account or the registration. I don't recall doing that. Maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe I did something to screw it up, but I was able to fix it and change it back to just one box every season. So I did tell her that. So, But apparently Walmart is aware of my videos, and, and she said they really like them, and they appreciate the fact that I make videos to show the, un, what'd she call it, the unsung hero of the beauty box industry or something. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. And I have reached out to Roses, or the store that owns Roses, about being a model in one of their sales circulars. I had reached out in the past, nobody responded. I reached out again earlier this week, nobody has responded. I think I'm going to just pick up the phone and call them. Somebody talk to me. I want an answer. Like, these emails are just going to, like, some little old lady that, you know, is retired and 
spends all her day with her cats and can't read half the shit they get. And I'm thinking that's where my emails are. They're just going to purgatory somewhere. So I think I'm gonna just call them and say, how, do, how does one become a model for your sales circular? Because I wanna be one. You don't even have to pay me. I'll wear whatever, you know, outfit y'all have for the, a circular. I will happily, let me wear it. I can do the poses. You know, I can do all the poses they do in the sales. Please let me do it. Because they're based here in North Carolina and I don't know where these pictures are taken, but it can't be that far shit. I'll take a day off work and go wherever. I just want to be, it's like a bucket list thing. I want to be in a sales circular sometime. I think I want to be in the Roses slash Maxway slash Roses Express sales circular. I want to be in one. That would just be the coolest. Don't tell anybody, but I think that'd be cooler than being in the New York Times magazine. I, 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 that was cool too, but I, I want to be in the Roses sales circular. <laughs> I'd frame that some bitch, put it up on the wall. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think next week, if I think about it, I might give them a call. Okay, you want to see how they look? Now, keep in mind, they're not going to stay this color because what I'm going to do, see, it's got, there's some henna on my eyebrows right now. I think it's made my eyebrows thicker as well. I mean, they feel and look thicker than they did six months ago, in my humble opinion. Just when, you know, they're going to, they're going to look weird. They're going to look weird. I'm just telling you now, if you haven't seen it before. People are just so easily shocked anymore. I don't understand it. I've been married three times and I've had two kids and I've been in a cult and I've survived an eating disorder. Like nothing, nothing shocks me, man. I don't know. Just nothing. Well, anybody who's lived through the last few years, like I don't know how you're shocked by anything anymore. Like there's some earth shattering, never happened before shit happening like every day. And now it's just like a Tuesday. Like also. Yeah, that's never happened in the history of whatever. Anyway, I guess I'm just numb to it. What's all that? It's a whole bunch of eye beams over there, and they're all painted yellow. What are y'all up to? Hinky shit going on back here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get killed. I probably need to get out of here. Yeah, I need to go. What was I gonna say? I was. I don't know. I was. I think I started like three conversations, and I've I've cut myself off. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show them to you. But yeah, they're they're. I think my eyebrows are in better shape now than they were six months ago from doing this henna dye and doing the threading. Although the lady that did the threading this time, it was a different lady and it hurt. It felt like a rabid bald eagle was clawing at my face. I, it hurt more than the other two ladies. I don't like it. But it was over very quickly. It hurt more, but it was over faster. So I guess there's that. All right, here we go. Now, what? see, here's what's going to happen. See that? And my, my skin is red. They had to wipe off all the makeup and everything. So here's what's gonna happen. I still have henna dye on my brows. I'm gonna leave it on there for about an hour and then I go home and kind of wash it off. And then when I take a shower tonight, I'll wash them again. So it, it's not gonna be this dark even tomorrow. It won't look this dark. But for five weeks, I will have nice color in my brows and I won't have to do diddly squat to them. So that makes me happy. Should I put my earrings back on? Maybe I should. I got I got to dress up for the Walmart, you know. I don't want to go in there looking looking all scraggly. It is Walmart after all. No, I'm going to a Walmart up here because they have my Pepsi's. It's Friday now. If you're in the USA, I hope you got a three-day weekend coming up. I have a three-day weekend coming up. We have several things planned. Uh, we're going to be going and doing some stuff this weekend, so. I actually have to get home and, and get some stuff done for the weekend. But uh, happy, what is it? Labor Day. I always get Memorial Day and Labor Day mixed up. Happy Labor Day. Yay. I hope it's a good one for you. Uh, whatever that looks like, whatever you consider to be a good weekend, I hope you have that. Thank you so much for being here. You're awesome. And I will see you again really soon. Okay, so I'm not actually gone. I I just left Walmart. I just had this I just had this thought because you know there's something down that way. First of all, there's a wine superstore right across the way from where I am right now. It's a wine superstore. I actually made a video in there, oh I don't know what, a year ago. Why I can't remember what is it? What is it called? Wine Wino's Warehouse. That's not right. Wine Wine and more. Just booze the booze 
superstore. I'm shit. Everybody and their damn mama is buying, like, I don't know, Labor Day weekend food. God, this place is crowded. Uh, okay, I'm going back. I'm going back. Calm down. Damn it. Oh, my God. I am never going to get out of this place. So, anyway, I had a thought. And I just thought I'd, I thought I'd mention it because I, I found it funny. I don't know. I just want to see if you find this funny. I'm, I'm just going to live at the Walmart. I can't get out of this damn... Fuck! I can't get out of the parking lot. People are just like... Do I need to just start backing up? I am so clearly trying to get out and these people so clearly don't care. <sighs> okay. Alright. Alright. I can't see. The problem is I can't see. I don't know. All right, they're right down that way. So there's a so yeah, there's a wine superstore right over there. And I just saw a man come walking out of the wine superstore with a chair, like a like an upholstered chair, like you'd have in your living room. And that is the most unwinely thing I've ever seen. Like he didn't have anything else. He just he just had a, a chair. He was walking out with the chair like that's normal. Maybe they sell furniture in there. I don't know. Maybe it's in there in case you sampled some and you need a minute. I don't. I don't know. I. I, uh, I had to come here to get my Pepsi's and the and the hundred other things my son said we were out of. I probably didn't get everything. I tried to remember everything and I, I could have looked at my phone, but I thought no. I'm going to get what I can remember. And you know what? He has a car and he has money. If he needs anything else, he can go get it his damn self. I'm not worried about it. Nobody let me out. I'm not letting anybody else out. Piss on it. Okay. So, anyway, I happened to see a place back there and I was aware of its existence. But I kind of forgot about it. Please don't hit me. Okay. All right. I forgot about it, but I saw it, and I thought it, I thought it was funny. So right down here, there's a building, and it houses two things: a titty bar and a crematorium. Right beside one another, you can see the smoke literally coming up out of the crematorium sometimes. So there's a crematorium right next to the booty slinging joint. And for some reason, I just find that funny. Like. You know, I don't, maybe it's just me. I just don't know that I'd want to go look at jiggling body parts right next to where you're, you know, you're cooking people. I just, you know, you're burning the bodies up. I just, it just give me the willies. But anyway, I saw that it had closed. It was called Centerfolds. And it's closed. But there was a sign up that said they're going to open up again later this month under the name, I think it was something like Pure Gold or Pure Platinum. It's usually some precious metal and it's pure pure gold, pure platinum, blah, whatever the hell you, I don't know, but I just, did they, did they think about that, did they give that a little bit of thought, I mean, I think I would, if I wanted to open a, a booty slinging place, I don't think I'd put it right next to the crematorium, like, literally, they share a wall, I just, and then there's a Chick-fil-A right across the street, so it's just, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> there's just a lot going on right there, <laughs> You're going to create some kind of Bermuda Triangle. I'm spitting on myself. Go create some kind of fucked up Bermuda Triangle. It's going to suck you up. Right in the road, middle of the road. It's going to gobble you up. <laughs> so, after this weekend, I want to do a Lynette video. And I thought, I need to work that in there somehow. We need to have, we need to have the titty bar and the crematorium. I don't know how. I can see her talking about that somehow or another. I don't know how, but I'm going to try to work that in there somehow. Usually when I do a Lynette video, there's no, well, there's no script for any of it, but usually with her, I'll have a few ideas in mind, like, have her talk about this, or, you know, have her mention that, or, you know, I try to have a few, a few things for her, you know. So, I, I saw that, I saw that the, the titty bar had closed, like, oh, man. Centerfolds is closed. Yeah, see if some, if you have like somebody in there and they die of a heart attack because you know the the 
the mammary glands are just too much, just take it right next door. <laughs> you can have a little delivery portal like a fast food drive through Here's another one. You get a discount. <laughs> Don't have to worry about validating your bargain, I don't reckon. You can give them a little, a little punch card. Get 10% off getting your chestnuts roasted over an open fire. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, that's on my bucket list too. I've never been to a titty bar. I've never been to one. I should go, I wanna go to one. I'm just curious, I wanna see what it's like. I want to. I want to go watch some girls dance. I want to go see that. I've never been. I, it's just something. It's just one of those things. I've never done it. I want to do it. I should see if Glenda the Good Witch is up for it. Hey, you want to go to a titty bar? <laughs> Have you been drinking again? <laughs> Not yet. Give me some time. Give me about an hour. No. You probably do. There's probably. You probably have to drink if you go. Well, I'm a lady. I could probably get in for free. Do you reckon they, would they charge me less? Or would they charge me the same? I would want to pay the same because I'm all about paying equally. I don't want to be treated differently or special because I'm a woman. I'll pay whatever. You got a noisy vehicle. What's all that fuss about? I was just here the other day. I haven't tried out my, my Stanley Dupe mug yet, but I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Glenda the Good Witch, he wanted the gray one. I knew he would want the gray one. I knew that. But the colors are so close, I can't tell them apart unless they're right next to one another. Because <coughs> they're so, I mean, they're so close in color. The beige and the gray, I mean, they're almost identical. I don't know why they even bothered making two of them. I mean, it's just the same color. Anyway, happy Friday. It's Friday. I just wanted to tell you about the, the titty bar in the crematorium because I just found it funny and the, and the guy coming out of the wine store with the chair. Happy Friday. I got, I got, I now got to go to Arby's, so I got a turn. But thank y'all so much for being here. I'll see you again soon.